The James Webb Telescope has just announced the clearest image of Proxima b in history, revealing astonishing details about this potentially habitable exoplanet. Join us as we embark on a journey through space to uncover the mysteries of Proxima b and discover whether it could be the next Earth. Let's take off into the vast expanse of space, where a mysterious planet exists in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. This planet is not just any ordinary rock. It's Earth's cousin, Proxima Centauri b, which is just four, two light years away from us. This planet is shrouded in mystery and awe. Could it be a different Earth, with vast oceans and abundant life on its surface? But wait, there's more. Proxima Centauri b is not alone in its orbit. Explore the red dwarf star around it, a fellow traveler, Proxima Centauri c, and who knows what other secrets the star system holds. Perhaps there's another companion we have yet to discover. The mysteries don't stop there. Proxima Centauri b receives just about the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the sun. Could this mean there's water on its surface? Perhaps even life? As we venture beyond our own solar system, a new world of exoplanets is discovered. Planets that orbit stars other than the sun. The possibilities of exoplanets are endless. Some even roam free, untethered to any star, like rogue travelers in space. But among them all, Proxima Centauri b stands out as a truly remarkable and enigmatic planet. With a year that lasts just 11.2 Earth days and a star that is 20 times closer than the Sun is to Earth, it is likely that one side of the planet is always bathed in daylight, while the other side remains in perpetual darkness. Now let's talk about Proxima Centauri the star that Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri triple star system. This system includes Rigel Centaurus, also known as Alpha Centauri a, and Alpha Centauri b. Together, these stars create the nearest star system to our very own solar system. The two stars, Rigel Centaurus and Ptolemy, form a binary system known as Alpha Centauri a and b. These G and K-type stars appear as one star in the constellation of Centaurus and are the third brightest stars in our night sky, with a peak magnitude of 2, 7. Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf also known as Alpha Centauri C, is about 21 light years away from the other two stars, approximately 13 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. It is technically the nearest star to us. In fact, Proxima Centauri translates to the closest star in Latin. It was discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Thorburn Aiton Innes. Despite being our nearest stellar neighbor, Proxima Centauri is not visible to the naked eye. It has an apparent magnitude of 11.13, which is far greater than the maximum human limit of 6. 5. But don't let that deceive you. Proxima Centauri remains a star to behold. Among red dwarf stars, Proxima Centauri is one of the most efficient in terms of energy production. It may not generate much energy, but the process of internal convection at its core keeps it glowing for trillions of years. In fact, Proxima Centauri will continue to be a main sequence star for another four trillion years. However, the possibility of life around a red dwarf like Proxima Centauri is still a matter of debate. It is a flare star meaning it has frequent and unpredictable fluctuations. As a low-mass star, the habitable zone would be much closer to the star than it is for the Sun, projected to be between 0.023 and 0.054 AU. But it's not as habitable as it seems. Proxima b is bombarded by extreme ultraviolet radiation from its star, hundreds of times stronger than what we receive from our Sun. That's right. It's so intense that even the lightest molecules of hydrogen get destroyed, let alone nitrogen and oxygen. And that's not all. Just because a planet is at the right distance from its star doesn't mean it can sustain life. Proxima b might not have a suitable atmosphere, which is essential for regulating climate and supporting a water-friendly surface. Living organisms would be vulnerable to dangerous space weather, making life nearly impossible. So, while Proxima B may look like Earth on the surface. It's far from being able to support life, at least as we know it. People have doubts. While numerous factors render it unlivable, 
the quest to uncover the truth about Proxima B continues, and some still hold out hope. One instrument that has captured astronomers' attention is the James Webb Telescope. After numerous delays, the telescope was finally launched in 2018 and may help us determine whether or not there is life on Proxima B. As with all science, nothing is ever quite as straightforward as it seems. Many modifications were required to ensure the James Webb Telescope could produce accurate images. Avi Loeb, a theoretical physicist from Harvard, demonstrates how, if a planet like Proxima b can absorb light from its star, it can also transmit it as infrared light, which the James Webb is designed to observe. This telescope was built to detect and photograph this light on the planet's surface and look for patterns that could confirm the presence of water, or even an atmosphere. However, what if that atmosphere is not conducive to life? Ed Turner, an astrophysicist at Princeton University, warns that just because a planet has an atmosphere doesn't mean life is present. Proxima b might be more like Venus, with a thick atmosphere that is 90 times denser than Earth's, and extreme heat that would make it impossible for life to exist. The quest to unravel the mysteries of Proxima b is not without challenges. While the James Webb Telescope holds promise. There are still many factors to consider. With mounting costs, astronomers are hard-pressed to find ways to observe planets like Proxima b. Yet, the rewards may outweigh the high risks. The chance to glimpse into the unknown, to learn the secrets of a distant planet that may hold the promise of life, drives astronomers forward. Now, let's talk about travel to Proxima b. Hypothetically, if the exoplanet were hospitable, could we even go there? It's the closest exoplanet to us, which makes it so thrilling. It's almost like looking into our cosmic backyard. What's even more interesting is that it's roughly the same size as Earth, and its location in the habitable zone means it could potentially have the conditions for life as we know it. Proxima b is also a prime target, due to its proximity, for our search for life beyond Earth, and with it being just around the corner, relatively speaking, it's a great contender for interstellar missions. Imagine the possibility of exploring this Earth-like exoplanet. Though we can't travel there yet, it's definitely on the radar for future missions as technology advances. But getting there is no easy feat. It would take 75,000 years for a spacecraft like Voyager 2 to reach the Proxima Centauri system. However, a solution has been proposed. Solar sails. These ultra-thin sails could be used to accelerate a spacecraft toward the Alpha Centauri system, and Proxima along with it. This method makes use of solar pressure to maintain the ship's course, eliminating the need for traditional fuel. And you know what's even cooler? This incredible technology has the potential to prove that life is possible on other planets, like Proxima b. But as with anything this ambitious, there are limitations. For example, the presence of an atmosphere doesn't necessarily guarantee the presence of life. Proxima b might function more like Venus. A thick, hot atmosphere that's not suitable for life. And get this. The James Webb Telescope is capable of detecting such illumination if it reaches a brightness of just 5% of the natural day side. Now, 5% may not seem like a lot, but when you're dealing with a star that's 20,000 times dimmer than our own sun, it's actually a huge deal. And if Proxima b does have an intelligent civilization that's lighting up its surface, they may be using bright orbital mirrors to reflect the day's rays of light to the night side of the planet. How cool is that? There are countless exoplanets waiting to be discovered in our universe. These planets come in all shapes and sizes. Some are massive gas giants, while others resemble our own planet. But what do we know about them? One type of exoplanet that has captured the attention of astronomers is the gas giant. These planets are similar in composition to Saturn and Jupiter, but are much larger. Some of these behemoths have been dubbed Super Jupiters, and they dwarf even the largest planet in our solar system. But that's not all. There are also Hot Jupiters, which are gas giants that orbit extremely close to their host star. They exist in a fiery world with temperatures that could melt metal. Imagine being able to witness such a planet up close, with its raging storms and blistering heat. In addition to gas giants, there are also Neptunian exoplanets, 
which have sizes similar to Uranus and Neptune. These include hot Neptunes and mini Neptunes, which are smaller and closer to their host stars than their gas giant cousins. These planets are often shrouded in mystery, with their atmospheres being difficult to study from afar. And let's not forget about terrestrial exoplanets that resemble our own planet Earth. These planets come in a variety of sizes, from smaller than our world to nearly double its radius. There are even super-Earths, which have masses greater than twice that of our planet, but still lighter than Neptune. One of the most intriguing exoplanets in recent years is Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star of the same name. This planet is classified as a super-Earth, with a mass of around seven Earth masses. Although it is close to its host star, it is still too far away to be considered within the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri b is not alone. It has a partner in crime, Proxima Centauri c, which is even further from the star. This planet has an orbital period of approximately five Earth years and was discovered in 2020 using pre-recovery Hubble data. But what's even more fascinating about Proxima c is that it appears to be a very bright world, possibly because it has a ring system, and there's still more to discover in the Proxima Centauri system. In 2019, astronomers detected a change in the star's radial velocity, which could be the result of another planetary partner. If confirmed, this planet will be known as Proxima Centauri d, and it will approximate the size of Mercury or Mars. Imagine, a world where the night sky is filled not just with stars, but a plethora of other planets, each with a different chemical makeup and orbital path. The universe is full of surprises, and exoplanets are just one of them. With new discoveries being made constantly, it is a thrilling time to be an astronomer. While we don't yet have an accurate count of exoplanets, we do know that they exist, just like the stars that light up the cosmos. However, exoplanets are difficult to observe, requiring state-of-the-art technology and powerful telescopes to detect them. The glare of their host stars frequently obscures them, making them even harder to study. But with advancements in technology, direct imaging of exoplanets is now possible with some of the world's largest telescopes. To be directly imaged, an exoplanet must be large enough to be visible to the telescope, far enough from its host star not to be obscured by glare, and young enough to be hot and visible from Earth. These requirements limit the number of possible exoplanets that can be directly imaged, but they offer a fascinating glimpse into the characteristics and compositions of the most distant worlds. Exoplanets are most commonly discovered through the changes they cause in their host stars. The gravitational influence of an exoplanet can shake its host star. This radial velocity can be detected by astronomers. The Kepler Space Telescope used the transit method, which measures the dimming of a star's light when an exoplanet passes, in front of it. This method has provided valuable information about the size, distance, and temperature of exoplanets. Amusing fact. Did you know that more than 22% of Earth-sized planets orbit stars like our Sun in areas that could be habitable? TRAPPIST-1, for instance, is home to seven rocky exoplanets with water on their surfaces. Like the planets in our solar system, surface exoplanets can also have natural satellites, or exomoons. With more than 4,000 exoplanets discovered so far, we know they exist in abundance throughout the universe. Hot Jupiters, because of their mass and rapid rotation, are the simplest to find. But there are countless other exoplanets still waiting to be discovered. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is helping NASA gain access to the universe's mysteries, one discovery at a time. The telescope has been gathering information and taking stunning photographs of the cosmos, unveiling previously unknown wonders of the universe. Recently, it made a groundbreaking discovery that may alter our perception of the universe forever. NASA announced that the JWST has discovered the first definitive evidence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of a planet outside our solar system. This discovery provides essential data about the planet's composition and evolution, offering us a glimpse into the mysteries of this gas giant. The planet orbits a sun-like star 700 light-years away, 
and this finding marks a significant breakthrough in our search for life beyond Earth. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson promised that this discovery would give us a new perspective of the universe, one we've never seen before, sparking excitement among astronomers and researchers around the world. But that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has been busy capturing breathtaking images and gathering data in the infrared. The light from a young, outflowing protostar named Iris, Olemsad 5177060, IRS 4, illuminates the chilly, wispy cloud material. The orange dots behind the cloud reveal the distant starlight absorbed by the cloud's ice. This magnificent research is part of Webb's Ice Age project, which aims to study the evolution of ice, from its creation to the formation of icy comets. And there's more. The James Webb Telescope has replicated the inner workings of a dusty disk surrounding a nearby red dwarf star, giving us a first-hand look at these light wavelengths in the infrared. This discovery provides crucial insights into how planetary systems are formed and could help us understand how our own solar system came into being.